I hope that we can settle all disputes and misunderstanding between the king and the nation. We hope. احساس خستگی می کنم و احتیاج به استراحت Only two weeks after the Shah fled Iran on January the 16th, 1979, Imam Khomeini returned to Iran triumphantly on Thursday, February the 1st, 1979, invited by the anti-Shah revolution which was already in progress. I will not forget the hospitality of the French government and the French people and their sense of liberty. During the flight, a German TV reporter was allowed into Khomeini's private cabin. بیش از اونه که فکر میکردیم آدم توی سالون اومد نتونستون کنترل بکنیم مردم ریختن ماشین های اسکورت و بین ما و ماشین های اسکورت حایل شدن و مرتب من حس میکردم که دارن روی این ماشین بالا پایین میپرن از همون لحظه رانندگی رانندگی عادی نبود توی ماشین این شب تاریک می شد امام هم اصرار داشتن که من در ماشین رو کنم ایشون هیت به در بر رفتن خواست من مونده بودم چیکار کنم Conservative estimates put the welcoming crowd of Iranians at least 4 million When Imam Khomeini was on plane on his way to Iran after many years in exile in a speech given to a huge crowd on the first day of returning to Iran, Imam Khomeini attacked the government of Shahapur Bakhtiar promising I shall punch their teeth in. Man dawlat ta'in mi konam. Man be fushbani in millat dawlat ta'in mi konam. Man tu dahan in dawlat mi zanam. Each time they captured one, they seized more weapons. After 10 days, the beleaguered military chiefs met. و وقتی تلفن رو قطع کرد، گفتش که ارتش اطلاعیه داده که در دعوای بین مردم و حکومت بیطرف خواهد بود و دستور داده شده که نیروها به پادگان ها برگردند. این به معنی پیروزی انقلاب بود. همه هورا کشیدیم، شادی کردیم و تبریک گفتیم، بغل کردیم همدیگر رو. On March the 30th, 1979, and March the 31st, 1979, the provisional government asked all Iranians 16 years of age and older, male and female, to vote in a referendum on the question of accepting an Islamic republic as the new form of government and constitution. Through the ballot box, over 98% voted in favor of replacing the monarchy with an Islamic Republic. Subsequent elections were held to approve of the newly drafted constitution. Along with the position of the grand leader, the constitution also requires that the president be elected every four years. But only those candidates approved indirectly by the Council of Guardians may run for the office. پیام آقای موسوی خوینی ها رو به امام رسوندن و گفتن این دانشجوانی که این کار رو کردن معتقد و مسلمون هستن طرفدار انقلاب هستن نظر امام این بود که از قول من به دانشجوان بگید که جای خوبی رو گرفتند اصلا نگران نباشن اونجا رو محکم بگیرن شما میبینید که الان مرکز فساد امریکا را جوان ها رفتن گرفتن و امریکایی هم که در اونجا بوده گرفتن و the students paraded their captives. 
I was taken outside, and the hordes were already out there screaming uh, death to the hostages. We were like animals in a zoo. Is Iran now, in effect, at war with the United States? What do you mean by war? If you mean our armies against the United States armies, no, there is no such war. If you mean it is a battle of nerves, it is Carter's doing. Imam Khomeini himself became instituted as the Grand Leader for Life and officially decreed as the leader of the revolution. After assuming power, Islam was made the basis of Iran's new constitution and obedience to Islamic laws made compulsory.